What's going on guys, Zach from Mini Quad Bros here. Today I'm going to go over this new PDB and more specifically how to flash this Minim OSD on it um, because it doesn't come with anything. Uh, this is going to be quick and concise so follow along. There's a couple things you need. Uh, most importantly is this little FTDI breakout. Um, it's a 5 volt one so make sure you have a 5 volt one selected. Um, some of them are switching, you can switch it with a solder jumper. Um, just make sure it's on 5 volts for this. Um, you need a USB cable. Uh, mini USB to be exact. It's the bigger one. And then you just need the uh, the little OSD. Um, this is just your standard standard uh, micro minimo OSD. Um, they're pretty much everywhere. Alright guys, so let's get started here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is get all our software lined up. Um, you need a driver for the FTDI breakout. Um, I'm pretty sure it might just install when you plug it in. I'm not really sure. It's been so long. But uh, in any case, just Google how to do that. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is get Arduino 1.0.5. Um, the reason we're going back to this older version was because I guess there were some issues. Um, pretty much everywhere I've researched says to use this version because it's without error when you're doing this. So download that. And then uh, download min, uh, multi -Wii OSD. You can, go, you can Google it and go to the website here. There's a zip folder. Or you can go view it on GitHub and download it straight from there. Um, I think the newest version is 1.5. Um, I'm running 1.4 right now. I don't think it should be an issue though. So once you have those downloaded, uh, go ahead and start with Arduino. So get that opened up wherever you saved it. Okay, and it opens up a blank sketch. Now we're gonna plug in this little guy. Now you need to, I'm not sure if you will be able to see this, but on the f on the top here, there is uh, the labeling for what each pen does. You need to line them up with, with um, this top row here. Um, and you can Google up the chart. I'll probably leave it in the description so you can see which one's which. Um, I know this top left one when looking at it like this is the DTR pen. So you can just line that up and plug it in. And it'll light up. Um, so while we've got that, we need to go over to tools here. And we're going to make sure we're on the right serial port. I know I'm on COM7. You can figure that out, whichever COM you're using. And it might even select automatically if it detects it. And then this setting here. And the first thing we're going to do with the uh, Arduino is clear the EEPROM, which is under the examples. It should be in there automatically. You shouldn't have to download this. And just hit clear. And then it'll pop up in a new sketch and hit upload. This will basically clear everything that's on that uh, Minimo OSD. And when it's complete, it'll say done uploading. Um, <clears throat> now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to upload a... Uh, pre-written sketch from a friend named Astralis Dustin. He sent this to me. Uh, makes it really easy. I'll leave a download link for it for you guys. Um, he basically disabled a bunch of extra crap that's not needed for what we do. We just have base, basic OSDs. Um, most importantly, voltage is on there. Um, so if you want to go something more articulate, you can fill out the sketch yourself. But um, go ahead and Let's see, it should be in sketchbook, libraries, multi USD config, that's the one, and hit upload once again. And it says done, done uploading, so we're done with this. Go ahead and close that out, and find your multi Wii OSD folder. multi Wii OSD GUI, and then 32 should work. Okay, once again, select your COM port. There we go. And the first thing you're going to do in the multi Wii OSD GUI is select a font. Um, select default. Uh, large, we found to be too large. It's kind of annoying, so let's, we go with default. And then it'll say it's, it's loaded, and then hit upload. And now right here, it's going to count up from 0 to 256. And once that's complete, um, we, can, we can go to the individual settings. So just give that a moment. 
if you skip this step, um, it will not work. Okay. And it says red 100% right there. That It just went away now, but okay. Um, now we're going to just, um, let's see, load right here. And this file, will, I will also link for a download for you guys to make it easy. Uh, this is the config file Astralis Dustin sent me. Um, it's just got all the settings. You could easily just do this yourself if you wanted, but why do that? And then click right once you've loaded it, and it's going to load up. Okay, now um, just to verify that it actually worked, hit read. Make sure everything's good. Change something, hit read again. If it changes back, you're, it's actually loaded. Um, so basically, these are all the settings for enabling things on the OSD. Uh, we've got display voltage, so there's the voltage. Uh, what else do we have? Display RSSI, it's up here. And you can actually move all these around. Um, I've, I think it's in the layout editor. Yeah, right there. Um, I'm not going to get into that. Um, we've got a throttle position on there, battery status, status, which will tell you if your battery's low or whatever. It'll pop up and flash battery critical or whatever. Uh, we've got a timer, and we have it displayed if it's armed or disarmed. I believe that's default. Um, so yeah, make sure at least at least some of these are enabled. Um, importantly, the so yeah, this is just what we found to like. It's pretty minimal. Um, if you want to change stuff around, add stuff, you can get into that on your own. Um, another important subject to touch on is the voltage here, this main voltage section. So we're running four cells on all our setups. So we obviously have this set to four for battery cells. And then you need to set your voltage alarm. Well, 14.0 overall voltage on a four cell pack turns out to be 3.5 a cell, which is pretty much when you should stop flying. Um, or when it's a good time to indicate to land. Um, so if you want to set three, if you're going to run three cells on your setup, drop this number to three um, by dragging it, I think, and then set this to 10.5 is, yeah, 10.5 is 3.5 volts a cell. And you can set it lower or higher if, depending on your flying style, but that's what we like. And yeah, so you're pretty much good. Um, after you, ch if you change anything, just go ahead and hit right again. And I just like to read to double check. It switches back so it's actually on there. So yeah, that's about it. That's how you flash the uh, Minim OSD. Um, and then you can just plug it back in here if you have this, this PDB and it'll work. If you guys have any questions or I skipped a step, please go ahead and let me know. Um, I can try to answer you as best as I can. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will be going over this board soon. Um, I know many of you haven't seen it before. It's pretty cool two 3A regulators on there. Um, no UBEC required. Everything's it's self-powered from here. It's, it's pretty awesome. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to. Bye.